before we get into today's video, we want to thank you for watching Peak Curiosity. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for all your new uploads and to support the work we're doing on the channel to provide you with the entertainment for trillions of light years to come. It was a sunny morning when Ashley, 22, took a ride through beautiful surroundings. Time for a nice photo, she thought. She grabbed her phone, took a selfie, and shared it on social media. She never could have imagined that this particular photo would have such major consequences. When her picture appeared online and the local police found it, they couldn't believe what they saw. The officers did not hesitate for a second and rushed to Ashley's house. Ashley sits on her couch suspecting nothing when she hears the doorbell. Walking towards the front door, she's blinded by emergency lights flashing through all her windows. What the hell is going on here? She's reaching for the door handle and notices two cops on her porch. They're not alone. Behind the two men in uniforms, there's a whole army of police cars with flashing strobe lights. What's going on? Did I do something wrong? Asks Ashley, now utterly shocked. The cops don't say a word and rush into her house with great numbers, and within minutes, Ashley's house is being searched by over 30 officers. At that moment, Ashley gets out of her initial shock and screams through the living room, What are you doing in my house? One of the officers approaches her and tells her that they are looking for evidence of a double murder. Ashley, oblivious to everything, suddenly becomes the crown witness. Another officer rushes to Ashley and shakes her impatiently. Where's your phone? The man scrolls through her photos and shrieks when he finally notices the suspicious selfie. He regains his peace and explains the situation. The police had been looking for the criminal responsible for a gruesome murder for months but all clues led to nothing, until Ashley put her selfie online. The reflection in your glasses shows the culprit we're looking for. Ashley didn't see anything at first, but when she looked closely again, she couldn't miss it. The reflection of an old man was caught in her sunglasses, but that wasn't all. The suspect was not alone. Would there be another victim? We need to go back to the place you took the selfie right now, the officer urged. Ashley and the officer stopped by a ditch on the side of the road, a place that didn't mean anything to the 22-year-old girl last weekend. They searched through the grass, inspected the road, and took countless pictures. But after more than two hours of searching, the investigation seemed to reach a dead end, until Ashley realized that her camera had caught a strange glint. There, in the forest! Ashley's camera caught a reflection from a window. Strange, because there shouldn't be a house in this area. They were standing on a ring road that crossed a large nature reserve. The only thing you'd normally find here is a deer crossing, the officer said. He pulled Ashley back and ordered her to stay behind him. Slowly, they walked towards the house. It was a decayed shack that was almost completely covered in leaves. There must have been some activity quite recently. A clean car was parked next to the shack. Suddenly, one of the officers raised his hand. I see some movement. Now they all saw it. Behind one of the windows, a person moved from left to right. It was a feral man in his early 60s, the cops estimated. It was him, the man they were looking for. As quietly as possible, the officers approached the house and positioned themselves against the outer wall. It was awfully quiet. The quiet before the storm, you could say, but the cops knew exactly what they were doing. The officer that stood next to the door raised his fingers and started the countdown. Three, two, one, zero. With a deafening bang, they rammed the door and stormed in. They expected a confused criminal who would be easy to catch, but the reality was different. The living room where the old man walked quietly seconds ago was completely deserted. Only a whistling kettle and an open window through which the man must have fled gave the impression that someone was here not long ago. How could the man always be too clever for us? They'd already put their guns back in the holsters when Ashley screamed, He's running over there, behind those trees! The assault unit reacted immediately and sprinted after the suspect. The man was old, but certainly not slow. Besides, he clearly knew these woods like the back of his hand. Swinging through the trees, he ran and disappeared in no time. 
The officers knew they had to be careful because they were now sure that the woods were full of homemade traps. The officers carefully regrouped in an open field, but then they heard a loud scream coming from behind one of the trees. The officers rushed towards the sound, fully alert and hoped it wasn't what they feared the whole time. But luck was clearly not on their side. One of the officers got his legs stuck in a huge bear trap. We need to move on, he can't escape this time, shouted the wounded man. This surprised the other policemen, but they understood him. An ambulance was called and they hurried deeper into the woods. And this was a good decision. Because after about five minutes, the man was spotted in an old barn. Clearly, he didn't expect him to be that quick because he was still busy packing his suitcase. This time, he didn't even make a move because the officers went after him. After a brief struggle, the man was handcuffed and taken away. The barn looked innocent on the outside, but it was a place where the man stored all his crazy ideas. The walls were covered with newspaper headlines of various horrific offenses. The police also found a pantry full of weapons. Will you come with me to the station? One of the officers asked Ashley. She did go to the police station, still shaking and confused because of what had just happened. A few days ago, she took a few innocent photos during a pleasant road trip, and now she was here. It all became too much for her, and she started to cry. A warm hand fell on her shoulder. It was the policeman who invaded her house earlier this day. You can't imagine how much you helped us. Without you, a terrible man would still be free. The officer told Ashley that her help would not be forgotten. The man is caught, and the whole investigation will end positively for her, too. And it became a reality sooner than she expected. Less than a month later, Ashley sat quietly at home on the couch when a letter fell on her mat. It was a heavy letter with a presidential seal. What could be in it? She opens the letter and looks at the content, an honorary ribbon and a signed letter from the president laid in her hand. Thank you for your great courage and help to the country. Ashley thought about that sunny day and the ride in her car and about taking pictures of that nice trip. What a month.